What's up YouTube? I'm often asked, what's the culture like at your agency? And it's a valid question. It's an important factor for many job candidates. But agency culture is much more than free bagels, beer cart, holiday parties, and weekly massages. Though I really enjoy those. Culture is the whole damn deal. How everyone feels about the place they work, and how everyone feels about the people that they work with. And uh, yeah, culture is extremely important. It fosters happier employees and better work. So today is all about culture. What it is, and how we can affect it. And to help me out, I have none other than Larry Habatka or at least his book. It's called You Little Jerk, and it's all about culture. Book review and spark notes right after this. Okay, so why is it called You Little Jerk? It's not a book about assholes. Think a knee jerk, a reaction. Culture essentially creates reflexes that prompt action without us really thinking about it. Larry defines culture as a collection of behaviors, beliefs, and values we generally accept and transfer to others without consideration. Culture is transferable and relies on a group to sustain it and pass it on through experiences, convos, and general proximity to one another. This is a large reason why the team around you is so important. Why when it feels like a few people are drowning or stressed, it feels like we all are. For this reason, staying positive truly does help and influence the people around you. I used to be an outward stressor, or my stress on my sleeve. People knew, ah, uh, now's probably not the best time to go and talk to Kevin. Not necessarily how I wanted to be perceived, and I could see where it made the team feel a bit uneasy at times. I've been trying to make a more conscious effort to keep that internal, be more chill, and at least go and walk it out. Our actions and our behaviors start to multiply. The more that you stay positive, the better chance that the rest of the team does as well. But culture is much more than keeping our chill. To create culture, you have to create these consistent experiences that reinforce behaviors, beliefs, values, while really connecting them to a Emotion. At some capacity, we are all emotional people and we've got to realize that. Emotion is key. Making people happy, giving people props for crushing an assignment, being truly encouraging and accepting of people's situations, celebrating the wins of the people on your team. It all helps. It all unifies. But it doesn't all fall on one person. In the book, he divides up these culture pushers these roles into wizards, bakers, and glue makers. Wizards are usually highly organized and create the experience. The what are we doing? The bakers bring intention to make sure whatever we're doing has a real purpose. The why the f are we doing this? And the glue makers, well, they make sure that it's effective and memorable. They understand the people. The how does it make people feel? With this kind of collaboration, some pretty cool stuff can happen. For example, the agency might conduct challenges, displays of gratitude, all team initiatives. At TL, we recognize the talent across our agency with these Unlock Awards. We participate in all agency initiatives on inclusivity. We spend a week every year helping out in the community, and little displays to promote wellness like those weekly massages. Each agency has their own perks, their own practices as they try to establish their very own culture, where people genuinely enjoy working there. You're working so much of your life that the place you're working should feel pretty good. And not everything you try will work, you've just gotta experiment, so don't put too much pressure on it. Try to simply create environments that are helpful, valuable, encouraging, rewarding, and really just try to understand what your people truly want. Relating directly to them will create a much better culture. Empathy. People would rather be motivated than be demanded to do something. Fear-based tactics just don't work. Okay, I know that was a lot. Probably said the word culture 114 times. But let me end you with this. Trying to change culture can be awkward. Not everyone will be pumped on the change. Culture building is a process that takes time and finesse, and you will absolutely have to adjust along the way. Just keep your intentions right and positive, and just do the best that you can. In conclusion, big ups to this book. If you're looking for some practical advice to push the cultural needle at your shop, be sure to pick it up. It's a quick and easy read, and even if you're at a junior level, you still have the power to change culture. It's not just a top-down kind of thing. Grab it to understand how you can contribute and help create the environment in which you want to work. We all have a say. We all can create change. Go do it. Like, comment, subscribe, my creative people, and I'll see you next time, you little jerk.